Hello Libra and welcome to Soul Sundays. Libra, quick three card spread. We're going to have a look at uh, your week ahead, focusing on mind, body and soul. All right, so let's get started. Universe and angels, messages and guides, my higher self, I call upon you now to give me a clear and accurate reading for the sign of Libra. Please show me what they need to hear and what they want to hear. Can I please have three cards for their week ahead? One for mind, one for body and one for soul. Thank you, Spirit. Just three cards, starting with the mind. There it is. Whew. I knew it was going to be about love. Page of hearts, innocence. Check this card out. Almost matches my nails. Who's your love interest, Libra? Additional card, please, for body. What's the most important message for their physical body? You got two. Yeah, interesting. Um, so alternative medicine and um, home help. As soon as I see the card of alternative medicine, um, you know, in this picture, it looks like Reiki, right? Or EFT tapping. It's like someone giving you energy healing from afar. Um, but I always get acupuncture. So I feel like um, whatever's going on for your body, wherever you've got muscles, spasms, tinges, like maybe you've got stagnant energy, that's essentially what tapping is, right? When you tap on a muscle in the same point and it's a nerve ending or point. But um, acupuncture actually goes through to that nerve to try and release that pressure. So I feel like actually getting a session, I can't even speak. Having a session of acupuncture this week could be really helpful for you. You've also drawn the card of home help. So this speaks about needing to get help with whatever's going on at home for you domestically. Something's falling by the wayside. It's either your finances, you haven't balanced whatever you've got to do. It's either your washing, the dishes. Um, maybe you need to go to the dentist. I'm getting like, they're making my teeth hurt. So maybe you need to go to the dentist and have your teeth checked. Um, definitely acupuncture for some of you. Okay. I'm just gonna ask that question again. One card please for soul. If it's the right card, it'll come back out again. Eddie, I just need one card for soul, please. Thank you. Just one for Libra's soul for this week. What do they need to know with their spirit message? Just one card, please. There it is. Revolution. Ooh. Interesting. Okay. Okay, cool. All right. So, Page of Hearts, Innocence. Um, this is really quite a sweet card, okay? This is um, a high school kind of giddiness. You know when you see someone and you get that kind of um, butterfly feeling in your tummy or when you're about to go see them and you like um, check your hair in the mirror or you, you know, make sure that you look quite good or whatever you can in whatever situation. Um, it, it's either you've got a crush on someone, someone's got a crush on you. Um, it's quite an innocent, pure love. Pages and messengers. So someone's going to either message you something quite sweet, something endearing. Um, maybe they're going to make a confessional this week. Maybe you're going to make a bit of a confessional. Um, you've had some really interesting love energy around you, particularly for singles. So I've, I've called upon and I've seen in your readings about new love coming in. Um, and this card is kind of on the back of that, right? So it's page of cups in traditional tarot, which is like, here's my cup of love. Will you accept kind of thing? Let me just find it for you so I can read it for you from the book. Bear with me. Hearts, 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 hearts. There we go. Um, so in traditional right away, it speaks about um, imagination, right? Um, imagination, creativity, um, reflection. It also speaks about loyalty and study. So maybe you're needing to put your... Um, your student cap back on and go learn something new or maybe you're trying to establish something this week where you need to learn it but I think um, this has a deeper meaning about um, a soul connection right let me read it to you innocence come back to your heart and you'll see the world through new eyes the page of hearts asks you to rediscover your value and your worth the attention you are paying to someone else's needs and opinions is zapping your self-confidence and esteem. Each time you think about them, a part of your power goes to them and self-doubt creeps in. But this is your dream. Their rules don't apply here. Fish can fly, trees can shine, and so can you. 
Burst the bubble, reclaim your balance, and be ready to breathe in the surroundings and the world of your creation. This is a new beginning or a bounty shift in an existing relationship. Dream a new dream and know how worthy you are of love. So a big card of self-worth, okay? But the other thing is this is someone coming in to offer you their cup of love. And I've talked a lot, I think, in the singles reading last week, I talked a lot about being kind of in between two worlds, right? It's like your past and your future or your past and your present even and needing to let go of one so you can step forward in the other. Um, And what's interesting is that if you have a look at the illustration in this cards, it looks like literally she's got, she's, um, I hate this word, but she's rooted in her past and her and her future, right? She's like one hand in the past, one hand in the future and and really you need to be focused on the present and the present is about self-love. It's really a message this week for you about knowing your worth as the as the book described it, but knowing your true value. If someone, and I said this in the singles reading for last week, um, for love, if someone's not seeing you for all that you are and for all that you're, you're worth, and yet someone over here is like totally looking at you fresh eyes and like, you know, goggly eyes, like that googly ah, kind of like lovesick puppy stuff go for the lovesick puppy stuff yeah let go of someone that makes you feel like you're unworthy because you deserve love right dream a new dream and know how worthy you are of love beautiful I like it I also want to know who it is tell me okay so back to your health Um, it's really important that you seek out some alternative medicine. Okay. So whatever you've been doing, whatever has been going on for you this week, as I said, for me, this card represents acupuncture. I see it very clearly. Um, but for some of you, it could speak about Reiki or, um, EFT tapping. It depends on what you're kind of, um, what you're open to. If you don't know what any of those modalities are, you can Google them and go have a look. Um, but I am getting acupuncture really strongly. Okay really strongly, quite strongly. Um, a situation calls for an alternative treatment. Uh, the treatment may be in conjunction with traditional care you're already receiving. This card asks you to research different methods for, um, and options for healing. Uh, Archangel Raphael will guide your research and you'll intuitive, intuitively know the right direction and which way to go. And the specific meanings of this card are the current treatment protocol isn't effective. Seek a second opinion, learn to practice alternative healing methods for yourself do some research um, about alternatives to your present healing path. So again, I mean, you've got two cards here, but I feel like some of you, it's about whatever's going on physically in your body, um, going and get some acupuncture, some acupressure, some Reiki, something about just helping you relax. Um, Really big call to about cleansing your energy, okay? I'm going to do a video soon if you guys have seen the series that I've been doing in terms of Empress Love about how to cleanse your energy and to detox from negative energy, particularly if it's someone from your past that you're holding on to, Libra, that is in your circle of influence and you kind of need to disconnect that could be bringing you down. Surround yourself with a puppy dog love, remember? All right, home help. Home help. Okay, this is a big one because I feel like not a lot of you speak up. You are the peacekeepers, the peacemakers of um the zodiac it's part of what i love about your sign it's also your downfall because you will suck it up um to the point of exploding and then it's not good for anyone right so if you're struggling ask for fucking help it's time to get some help with your home think of it as a worthy investment that pays huge dividends of increased time energy and vigor even the most capable person needs assistance in fact it's a sign of strength to uh, accept help Take a moment to daydream about what your life would be like if you had wonderful help around the house. Your unconscious mind will tell you exactly what to do, um, what you do and don't desire. Perhaps it's as simple as hiring a house cleaning service to handle the more difficult tasks. Or maybe this involves guidance around healthcare workers, home-based business, uh, an in-home instruction or a family issue. Whatever form it takes, you deserve it. And the specific meanings are... Know that you can afford in-home assistance and then it will pay for itself. Learn to delegate and ask for help when you need it. I'm going to repeat that one. Learn to delegate and ask for help when you need it. See yourself as part of a winning team with angels and other people working towards a common goal. Give yourself permission to rest so that your loved ones can take care of you. 
It's a really important one in the last one, right? Actually giving yourself permission to take a break. Sometimes we all work so hard that we don't actually do that and it's so important. Revolution. Ch -ch -ch changes. So this is a pretty big one. Um, and I'm not surprised to see it coming up for your sign because it's a big year for you guys in terms of your spirituality and where you're going, right? This card, look at how beautiful she is. Um, and we're coming up to a full moon. So I think it's in your sign too. So actually double whammy. Um, I'm just going to read it, right? And then I'll break it down for you. Avoid comparison. It is neither too soon nor too late to claim your life for yourself. There is no right way to live your life. There is no wrong way or set pace to follow your path. Be wary of false markers. It's not always time to harvest. Without periods of rest, planning, planting and nurture, there may be no harvest. So this ties back into what this card was saying, right? It's a really big message for you guys. You can't just go hell for leather and hope that you'll keep achieving your goals without taking a breather, okay? It's really important that you rest because something will happen. You'll physically damage yourself. You'll get sick. You'll get a cold and it'll wipe you out when you can't afford it to happen, so if you need to get help at home, maybe it's cleaning, maybe it's help with the kids, maybe it's someone balancing your books, there's something that you can delegate, I know there is. Um, I think it's important to do for your physical and mental health, right? Because without rest, then you're not going to be running at your optimum. Puppy dog love. So cute. That was your reading for this week. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please hit the like button. It helps the channel more than you know, and I'll be back with you next week. Take care.